The year is 1544, and we currently are in the king are are in control of Britain, France, Castile, and now the western coast of Africa and uh, the northern coast of Africa as well. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day, and welcome back to some Anglophile here in EU4. Today we're going to be trying to push through a couple of missions here. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Greenland, huh? So it looks like it's time to go to war with uh, Norway, who is independent. So well, that's definitely easy. Oh, yeah. I'll even call in my allies, and I will have to do literally nothing. Just let my allies handle all that for me. Except for these poor lads. They're going to get they're going to get sunk for some reason. I hope they don't. Let us come over here and our heavies will certainly beat up their galleys, especially with Sydney Howell in charge. And there you go. We even steal some of their galleys to assert our dominance on them. But uh, yes, I hope you guys have been enjoying the campaign so far. I certainly have been having an absolute blast. Trade efficiency, of course. So we're getting most of our monies from. So in this war, we will take Iceland over here. And it might be smart to... Uh, Ooh, nah, uh Norway has colonized Bermuda. Well, I will definitely take Bermuda as well. No reason not to, right? Discovery spread, very good. Indulgence. I'm trying to be get better about this. So Brandenburg is getting sieged down by Denmark, apparently. These guys are needed over here. These guys. These guys here are still needed a little bit. So yeah, I'll just have my vassals handle the war. And I'll continue to hold down the fort with them. Let's say France and uh, France. I want like Castile to land some men up here. See if they can I can bait them into doing a naval landing, right? Castilian peasants and Burgos, I will handle them for you, my good friends. Look at that. I'm a benevolent overlord, see? There we go, Hungary. Yes, Hungary. Yes. There you go, France. See? And it's awesome because I get war participation from France sieging stuff down. I'm doing nothing right now. I'm doing literally nothing, and I'm getting a ton of participation. It's a wonderful thing. An absolutely glorious thing. Let's uh, start getting some of these guys built up here. Oh, yeah. Our trade node is definitely doing well. So let's start getting some manufactories built on uh, Britain will be good for us. And uh, I got some comments asking about the Industrial Revolution um, achievement. I do have that already. So we can't do that. But one thing I could do here is um, we could do Home Away From Home, which is like towards the end of the game. We just release whales and then, you know, do that. So these guys, I will have them transfer trade power to me because, of course. Next debate... An extra merchant, trade power abroad. Let's go with some trade power abroad. Navy commissions is fine. Populars, yeah, that's fine. Placate burgers, it's fine. Populous is fine. No crownlands, please. Placate burgers is good. Mill support is good. So that gives us an extra merchant. And we can steer from, say, the North Sea, which obviously we're losing a ton of money there. So that's going to help our income out quite a bit, actually. Especially once we uh, have him concede his trade power to us. If and when that were to happen. Volgast, huh? I will give that province to Brandenburg. Give me all your money. There you go. Nothing wrong with having a nice, strong Brandenburg ally. Obviously, we want to keep on converting for our vassals. Some rebels over here in Ceuta. Have them get suppressed there. That's a fort, so we're good. And we're maxed out on admin again. Yet again, maxed out on admin mana. And we'll just go down the line and spend some mana. There we go. See how strong innovative is, though? Not bad. So... I'm a little concerned as to why my vassals will not uh, siege this down. Like, they're going to march all the way around Finland into Sweden, but they won't... Um, they won't walk onto Copenhagen. 
strange. All right, Francis is going for it again, but he's got these rebels over here, these Danish rebels. Yeah, because what I'd like to do is have him transfer his trade power to me. That's kind of the, the best case scenario, I think, for us. Because these guys are blockaded in here, so they actually won't do anything. Oh, wow, really? King Casey I will write a book on military tactics. We will gain prestige and mill mana. And uh, our vassals, most importantly, will gain... Uh, yes, please. I don't care if they have some mill tactics. I don't. I think it's more about people who we border, but it just so happens that we border mostly our rivals, or our vassals, rather. So <laughs> that's fine with me. Uh, yeah, this is fine. These guys' war exhaustion is going to be explosively growing. We'll be able to take whatever we want from him. He's got ticking war score, which is hilarious because we're still at 18. Very good. Take another mercantilism. Mercantilism, for those who do not know, because I was getting some questions about it. Provincial trade power. That's strong. It's really strong. So at 100%, I get double the trade power from provinces. So this province, instead of producing, you know, you can see here from mercantilism, it's adding an additional. And our trade power efficiency is increased a bit by it as well. So trade is a very complicated mechanic in this game, and I'm not going to act like I completely understand it. But it is quite useful. So let's let those guys head over onto... Oh, Brandenburg decided to come out and blockade him instead. There you go. You guys are out. Ah, they have uh, Sweden in the PU as well. Continue converting. Look at this. Oh, I love it. I love it. He's even... Oh, he's done it. He's doing it. He's converting. So one thing we're probably going to end up needing to do is... Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to need... Oh, that's Royal Mary. You for one. We're going to need to um, get these guys hooked up with a bit of subsidies. So I will give them probably about the same that I was giving my other vassals. Here we go. Our center of reformation. Oh, no. That's the wrong religion. You hate to see it happen, folks. And we're maxed out on mill mana. I'll be dang. I will be damned. So let's uh, come over here. Lincolnshire, let's have you guys out here. Let's do a little bit of development here. A little bit of development here. A little bit of development here. There we go. Let's see. You guys hear one a little bit as well? There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. We're still like super far ahead on admin as well. So I'll do a little bit of that. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. This. Take your money as well. And I guess we should probably do it for Diplo as well. This whole state will get a little bit. Let's actually get York up to 30. That way we can upgrade that center of trade. Guy over here, I'd like to get you up to 30 as well. So let's do it. And this province over here in the West Midlands, we should probably get you up as well for a center of trade as well. Since we have the least amount of mana for this, we're going to do that there. There we go. 30, 30, 30. Look at this development. Oh, it's looking so good. Yes, Britain is starting to become quite industrialized. You'll love to see it. Vassals are starting to get on there, but uh, yeah, I think I may end up needing to land some men up there. Let's see here. We definitely could recruit some more men anyways. We have plenty. Ooh, some Marines? Let's do some Marines. We can land some Marines up there. I have no idea how to pronounce this name. A woman known as this thing has arrived from our court to petition the release of her sons. So we get a half-off discipline advisor, a 443 admiral, or a 44 or a prestige. Um, we have a half-off. You know, I'll take the admiral. That's fine. Cause she may lead our trade fleet. Have you guys blockade up here as well? Half off treasurer, huh? Well, we're already maxed out on prestige, so we might as well. George William York? Not bad. He'll help us. He pays for himself, essentially, so. Solid. Let's get these guys over here, and let's have our navy brought over here to Hull. You guys will land on the Faroe Islands, because obviously we need to uh, 
Look at this. Sailors. Or the Royal Army, I guess, is what these guys are called. The Army of Scotland. So uh, there we go. That's an easy war. We're going to take Bermuda. Take all of his overseas territories. Um, I could take some clay up here and release like a sat me. Could I release sat me? Oh, no sat me. Sag. Sag. Anyways. If we wanted to start working our way into the Rus, we could take like a province up here and get some claims on them. I'm kind of unbothered by it right now. I think I will force religion. Okay, we're going to do that. We're definitely going to do that. <laughs> Have you guys come on over here. Now, if you don't know, I, I don't ever use these guys, but these guys take more damage. But they take no crossing penalties and uh, they also get disembarkment speed bonuses. So they land quite a bit quicker as if they're like force marching, you know, so it's really good for us. So we're going to win this siege and we'll send these guys down here. Not ah, really? Casey died young. He was only like 45. All right. The king is dead. Long live the king. Uh, Ernst Augustus, you are literal garbage, so you're going to go. George I of York. Long may he rule. Long may he... Long may he rule. Continue converting our vassals. Got some rebels popping down here. Again, it borders a mountain fort, or a fort, so even if they win, it wouldn't actually convert it. That's okay. Truce with Austria is over. Let us, um, write, since I'm not in charge of the, we have call for pizza. The plebs demand pizza. Oh, did Artemis get rid of that? Artemis got rid of it. He just says it call, call for peace. He's been removing a bunch of the Mimi stuff. I appreciate the, the call for pizza, but and for anybody wondering, we call it call for pizza. It's just, it's just a funny thing because it's. Sounds for peace. Sounds close to peace. Pete's. Pizza. Stability and Miltech cost. Yes, please. Absolutely. Those events are so good. All right. So you will now follow the Anglican faith. You will give me all this money. And there you go. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad at all. I will core you all up. How much dev is this? 10 dev. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so we will take a look at our mission here. The North Sea Islands gives me a permanent claim on Greenland, which is funny because, you know, literally none of it is colonized yet. <laughs> it's only two provinces, right? Eriksfjord and Vestibjord. Very good. Call for pizza will go away. Lorraine would like personal union. Onspock would also like a personal union. Onspot gets some nice claims, if I recall correctly, but I might be wrong with that. Oh my gosh, what is going on with Austria? Bohemian Conquest of whatever that is. Oh, it was a reconquest. <sighs> yeah, the Emperor not looking too good. The Emperor is really not looking too good. We're getting close. He's starting to get stuff converted down there, which is awesome. I really don't know what to expect here from the, um, from the, uh, the League War. It'll be coming soon, for sure. Uh, I'm going to focus on my home node first. If you don't know, goods produced increases the amount of trade that you have in the nodes. So those are good things to keep in mind. Let's um, have these guys head back over to, like, London. And uh, let's get a little bit of money from debasing currency. We're going to start saving up now because we want to upgrade our centers of trade. Since we spent all that money, uh, all that mana deving them, obviously we want to make sure we're putting it to good use, right? We have three three that we can do. If you don't know, you can have one level three center of trade, one world port per um, uh, m merchant that you have. Uh, and that does, it. obviously it changes. Like we have, since we have an additional free one from our um, charter trade company, which is from the, uh, whatchamacallit, from our parliament, we can still build one. Normally it would be two. We can build three with this and so on and so forth. Speaking of, it would probably be smart for us to start chartering trade companies into um, India, but uh, we do not have Explo yet, so we cannot quite see what's going on over there. But no big deal. No big deal, right? So let's take a look at our... I think we can turn our army maintenance down a bit, and uh, 
Army tradition not looking super good, but I'm still going to turn off my guys here. The printing press is here. Now, remind me, do I actually gain it quicker? Because we do. Very good. So, Provost is Protestant, Anglican, or Reformed. So, we get a little bit of extra boost there. Uh, obviously, we get it plus because we're so well um, industrialized, especially in our capital. So, very good stuff. Not bad at all. So, let's take a look at uh, how our truces are looking over here. Portugal, we have a truce until four years from now. We will immediately attack them and annex their clay for Castile. So let's take a look at what this will do with Castile's mission tree when the time comes. Italian ambition, huh? All of the following must be true. Ooh, yikes. Really? Really? Does he have claims down there? He doesn't? How do you expect us to do that? Oh, that'll be painful. We might not actually go that route. Uh, where am I at here? Here we go. So. Governed by the ruler of Castile. Or all provinces in this area has to be owned by Castile or its non-tributaries. Yikes. Okay, well, this will give them admin and prestige. Number of explorers, at least one. So they just still haven't they just haven't done it yet. Okay. Weird. So let's upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Very good. Increase our trade income quite a bit as well. Continue to convert because, of course. Uh, I'll take the in I will take innovativeness basically anytime I can. Church power, please. So we're gaining how much a month? Almost three? Not bad. How come my religious unity has fallen? Just because I took a couple of these provinces over here. That's fine. Once we're done coring it, we will convert it all. I will increase your... I don't care about this land literally at all. But having high autonomy means nothing to me. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Nay, I say. <laughs> Goodbye, baby. All right, Algiers is getting a couple of claims over here on Portugal as well. So let's say I also view all this land down here as vital interest. It would be great if you would get some claims on it, friend. Very nice. Our truce with Seuss is over. We will pee you hungry if his uh, if his ruler dies soon. That would be incredible. Brabant would actually be a like unironically be a very good guy to PU. So let's royal marry them. Improve relations with him and then royal marry him. Let's see here. Take on your debt. Yeah, I think that's a that's a fair amount of money. Production efficiency, huh? We're making quite a bit more money from a production than we are from uh, tax, so that's good. And that should get our relations up high enough. Very good. We can now royal marry them. Brabant. Good. So if he were to die right now, we would get somebody of our dynasty on his throne. Hungary will just get personal union outright, which is awesome. He's young, so the chances of it happening are very small. Yep, already got an heir, so unfortunate. So this event would either normally give you a stab, but since we're already at three stab, you just get 50 admin or 50 prestige, which we definitely need because we have been throwing our babies out. So they are on Prussia has formed. The Teutons formed Prussia. Well, let's see here. They're not far off from it. He's old. He's really old. Okay. We're going to influence him. See if we can get these guys to flip to friendly. 
You guys know how I am about Prussian vassals. If I have the opportunity, I have to do it. They're just too strong. Let's uh, send them a gift as well. I have no diplomats. Right. There go. Give you 150. Also convert some provinces. Okay. They should be very close. Neutral attitude, huh? Not for sure. Not for long. Turn our army maintenance up. Let those guys get handled. Litho or Ottomans just extending their tendrils here into Russia, into Lithuania. We'll claim a guarantee on him. They're very old. The longer we wait on this, the, the worse our chances are. Let's uh, mark them as friendly. See if we can bait them into being friendly with me. I think a Diplo rep gives you a flat plus five. More advisor costs. Yes, please. One more month here. Admin tech. Yep, I'll take that in a moment here. Very good. So Ho Ho Noble from House York. Very good. So Brabant, Prussia, and Russia as well. Russia is my rival, though. I will take this. That's fine with me. And I will continue converting for you. So now that we have a... We need to revoke the guarantee, just in case. There's a very good chance that we could get a PU on uh, this Prussian duchy over here. That is formed. That would be really good for us. Brabant over here. Let's mark them as vital interest. They're already vital interest. Noble from House York. Naples, huh? Oh my gosh. Did I speak too soon? I, we're going way over our diplo limit. It's fine. It's fine. Noble from House York. It's got to happen. It's got to happen soon, right? All right. The uh, League War is starting to shape up. Now, if I were to attack him, the League War, okay. I will not join anything now. I'm going to hold off on it. Ah, they got an heir. Damn it. That is so unfortunate. So here's a little trick you can do if you want to get them to break their royal marriage with you because you don't want to pay for it. Since we don't have... Oh, we have Diplo. Oh, I'm being so dumb. We have Diplo ideas. So what you do is you just break your royal marriage. If you have Diplo ideas, you don't lose a stab. For that anymore. Not bad, right? Bremen? Bremen is a monarchy? Interesting. Normally they are a free city. Let's take this tech here. Upgrade our cannons. We have rebels in Iceland, huh? Let's have our Navy come on up here. Or our, our Marines, rather. Have them suppress Rebels here. That should fix that. Very good. I do not care at all about Denmark's opinion of me. If that wasn't clear enough already. Let us upgrade you as well. Oopsies, not enough development. Well, there you go. There's your 30 dev. That also makes it 10% cheaper to dev this entire state, which, speaking of, we need to turn these edicts off. What am I doing? It's costing me money. Got lots of prosperity. Look at this. All this prosperity is so good. So good. Armenia. Onspock again. 
So Naples and Brabant, both would be really great. And Hungary again. Really? Okay. Yeah, sure. The religion of the pharaohs changes for us. That's awesome. Keep on taking mercantilism. No reason not to. Let us see here. Take a look at our vassals, see how their economy... Oh my gosh, France has 52,000 men. Castile's got 32. They're, they're each pulling in over 20 ducats a month. These guys are doing okay. They are converting everything down here. It's awesome. I love it. I love it so much. We're getting lots of prestige for converting all this land as well. Our PP is now small. So let's send some insults. You guys suck, and I hate you. You guys also suck. Not bad. Keep our PP nice and big. Keeping your PP over 50 is essential. Sir Thomas Gresham's currency reform, huh? So base tax in London. We lose inflation, gain innovativeness, gain reform progress. And gain a half-off tax guy. Not bad. Yeah, we even have some inflation. We have three inflation. So, that's like perfect. All right. Oh my gosh, Queen Elizabeth I. What are you talking about? Our, our ruler is weak and a pretender has risen. She calls herself Gloriana, the Virgin Queen. She promises to rule England in its first golden age. An age of great writers, poets, privateers, explorers, spies, and sailors. With our permission, she will work with vigor to rally the nation against the Spanish menace wearing armor on the coast and exhorting the fleet to defeat the invading armada. Well, I think uh, this timeline doesn't quite make sense with that. But oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, please. And she's got morale. She's 19. Queen Elizabeth Tudor. The Tudors have risen. Even though the Yorks were in power, the Tudors still come in. I got a lot of comments about it. Like, oh, you know, you'll, you'll just get your... If you have a bad ruler, you'll just get the event. I get it. I'm role-playing a little bit, guys. Can't we have some fun, right? Let's go. Let's join this war. I don't mind. But uh, we're going to take care of it in the next one. Uh, as far as this reform goes, the Tassemwa is always what you got to do. The, the governing capacity is just too good not to go with. So, we have grown a bit, a little bit of overseas territories in this one. Hope you guys are enjoying. Uh, if you are, like I said, make sure you share your support, leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell, all that fun stuff. And if you have not already subscribed, like I just said a second ago, if you want to support me on Patreon, link is in the description below the video, as well as the Discord, Twitter, anything like that, all in the description below. That's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. A huge special thanks to my top July patrons, Junk Binary, Mr. McFlew, Angelic, Bouncer Steve, Sprocket, Fat Man on Deck, Jay Eden, Jay Clampett, Jay Kapchinski, M. Dressel, R. Lawrence, R. Epp, J. Baller, Lon Damon, Draco Arhavis, Orbit, Jankopotamus, P. Jarden, A. Vickman, Arkenglad, Harry, A. Murado, Dick Cutchell, and Winkler, R. J. Pylant, and many more. I appreciate you guys very much.